Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. In today's video, we are going to take a little step away from handbags and I thought I would do an updated hair tutorial. So if you guys have watched my channel for a long time, you know that I either wear my hair one of two ways. I either wear it straight, kind of like I have it now, or I wear it wavy. Now, usually when I wave it, I will use a curling wand or I have used the beach waver, but I have never been able to curl my hair with a curling wand, like do the beach waves. And I recently learned, I kind of taught myself how to do it by watching other tutorials. And I've actually had a couple people lately say, Hey, you know, can you do an up updated tutorial when you get a chance? So if you guys are interested to see how I curl my hair using a curling iron rather than a curling wand, then let's keep watching. I'm going to take you from start to finish. So first I want to mention my hair. I washed it yesterday and keep in mind I do have highlights so I will be honest whenever I get my hair highlighted it is a little dry from the blonde so if you do have blonde hair you have to be really really careful not to have the curling iron or curling wand too hot because it can really fry your hair so one thing I are always do is this is second day hair so just to make sure that my roots are not greasy I will use this living proof dry shampoo and all I really do is just kind of spray it in my roots, but you can see it has a white cast. So you really have to kind of rub it in. If you don't, the white cast will show, but this is just going to ensure that your roots are not like oily and it's going to give you a little bit of a boost too. So I spray that in. And one thing that's very important is I use a heat protectant. I've used a bunch of heat protectants, but this one I like a lot is by Trust Me. It's the Heat Tamer Spray. I already sprayed it all over my hair, but one thing I do is I also spray each section as well. So you have the Living Proof Dry Shampoo. You're going to need the Trust Me Heat Protectant. I also love these little clips and they are pink as well. This is what I use um, because I have a lot of hair. Then I also have a brush. This is a wet brush, love these. And then I also have a teasing brush as well because who doesn't like that big Texas hair? So after I use the dry shampoo, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna section my hair, start with the bottom section and I'm just gonna kind of brush it out. Then I'm going to spray it. All right, so now for the curling iron. I picked up this one. It is the Baby Bliss, it is the one inch. Now. I did not want to invest in a really, really expensive curling iron because I wasn't sure if I would get it down because in the past I always got a, a crimp. So if you guys have had problems like getting the crimp, this one works well because it kind of has a swivel on the end so the wand turns um, really well. And then also another tip is this goes all the way up to 430 degrees the old amber would have put it on 430 degrees but now i just have it on 250 and it warms up really quickly so okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start by taking a piece and i'm going to brush my hair mind you i had already sprayed it with the heat protectant now this is the key to not get the cramp what you want to do when you're on this side is you want to have the wand facing forward and then you're going to want to actually, you know what? I need a mirror. Hold on one second. Let me put a mirror here so that I can see what I'm doing. So what you want to do is you want to have the wand facing forward and then you want to start at the top and you want to curl backwards. So curl away from your face and then slowly, you know, kind of curl it up. So you see, I still have a little piece sticking out, but it was away from my face. And then I'm going to pull down and you see how you get that like nice little curl and I'm just going to leave it. Then I'm going to take the next piece. And again, you are going to have it facing this way. If you clamp it the wrong way, you're going to get that little dent in your hair. So be very careful. So again, clamp it and it go away to your face and kind of move it down but you see how easily the wand turns. Okay. And then I'm just going to kind of like pull it down and I'm just going to kind of let it sit. So see, it almost looks like little ringlets 
All right, then I'll take another piece, kind of brush it out. Again, middle, and then you do back, and then you twist, and you just kind of let it sit. And I'll let it probably sit a couple more seconds just to ensure, since it isn't on the highest setting. But it depends on how thick your hair is. My hair is pretty thick, but again, I used to curl my hair every day and I would fry it. Okay, so now I have one little piece left and this is on the other side. So what you want to do is you have the wand and I kind of have it pointing towards me. If you see that, you grab it like this and then you're going to twist backwards pull down a little twist, pull down a little twist. It's kind of hard to explain. So what I'm going to do for the next couple curls, I'm just going to kind of do it slow so you can see. And then you're going to pull down. So see how you kind of have like little ring ringlets? So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some hairspray. And I realized I forgot my hairspray. Let me go grab the hairspray. I'll be right back. I'm back, you guys. I don't know what I was thinking. Hairspray is a pretty important product to use. The hairspray that I usually use, I am out of, but I will pop a picture up on the screen. That's the one I love, but now I'm using the Kenra Volume Spray. This one smells really good. So I'm just going to kind of spray the curls for now, but just kind of leave it. Okay. What we want to do is take the clip out and go next section. Clip it and then I'm going to kind of brush and then I want to spray. Okay, and I want to kind of wait. I don't want to put the curling iron on my hair when my hair is still wet because you'll hear a so I like to kind of just wait a second for it to dry. Now you can do it all over beforehand. I did do that, but I also like to spray the individual sections just to kind of extra protect my hair. Cause as I stated, because I do have blonde highlights in my hair, my hair can get really, really fried. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to tease. Now here's the importance. When you tease, I like to use um, a teasing brush rather than a teasing comb because a brush is going to damage your hair less than a comb will. So I just take one of these and I will link all the products down below. Just take this. I take a little bit of hairspray and then I tease like that. little on that side and a little in the back and then I'm going to just kind of a little bit brush it. So just a little bit of volume, not a ton. Then what I want to do is let's start with this piece, brush it out. And actually I think I'm going to take a little smaller piece and the smaller piece that the smaller pieces that you use, the tighter the curls will be. So again, you take a piece, have the curling iron facing forward, clamp, and then away from your face. The key is away to your away from your face. Now, a lot of people will curl their hair and do like every other direction. I don't do that because I'm just learning on this wand, and I'm afraid if I did, I would start to get the dent. So you see, have that right there. Then let's take another piece, and you. I'm just trying to get the pieces that I didn't get before. Just kind of brush again, wand face forward. And it's one of those things where you're going to have to keep trying it. Like there are even sometimes, um, where I do this, I'm like, wait, is this the right way? Because nobody wants to have that dent in their hair. And trust me, I would get so frustrated because like, no matter what I would do, I was always get the dent. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? And the key is you want to have like the hair, like away from your face, right? You want to go in the same direction. So you do that and see how easily this wand turns. So I love that. So hold it and then pull it down. Now for me, I actually have layers through my hair, so I have to make sure that I'm getting all the pieces. And the good news about this is, you know, this will stick. Oops, see how my little layers are poking out? Let's try this again. And this, this curling iron gets really hot. So then go backwards and then twist. 
hold it and you'll see do, 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 do. Ah, there we go. okay so now let's do the other side here all right now this take a little piece I'm going to brush it out now this one you have the one kind of facing towards you grab the back twist little twist see see what I did there and don't worry I have more to do because I have a lot of hair so I'll show you and go, 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 pull down just so you get that nice little curl then let's take another little section here but it's one of those things where it's like practice makes perfect like once you practice like once you get it you're gonna get it it took me forever to get it so hopefully you guys will get it sooner than <clears throat> I did because it took me forever I don't know why I was just like you know what the wand the wand is easier I'm just gonna use the curling wand or the beach wave I've heard that this one holds better curls and I, I really feel like it does but see how this wand is great now I would say this is like middle of the range curling wand like I want to say it was like maybe 60 or 70 bucks okay all right so now I have my little curls did I get everything I think I did so now we're gonna do the same thing take some spray spray each side just let those bad boys sit and now we're gonna do the top section I'm going to brush and I like my hair parted in the middle oh I look crazy like that don't I so I'm going to just do the same thing that I did before where I put a little bit of spray and I tease tease a little like that but you don't want to like go back and forth you want to just kind of lightly and again this is tough because I'm trying to use this little tiny mirror and the viewfinder so forgive me and then I like to tease the crown the crown the crown okay so then I do that and then I'm gonna do just a little more spray let's just wait a second we're gonna kind of gently brush and let's essentially do the same thing I think you guys get the drift I will do take the front piece and this is where I try to be a little more careful since it is the top of my hair but again facing forward and then back twist back and then there we go and what I will do is I will do more touch-ups but then I take another piece brush try to do a little higher up here Take another little piece, piece of roux here. Pull it down. Okay, that side, give it a little spray. Now let's do this side. I'm gonna show you how to do the first piece and then I'll do the rest a little quicker. Remember this one, this way, back, down a little, back. Okay, so I just finished, and as you can see, I have these curly cues in. So what I like to do is spray it, kind of give it a little bit of hold, 
and then what you can do is you can brush through it. Now I still like curls to be a little tighter, so it's up to you, but you can just kind of slowly brush through it. And you see how you start to kind of get that wave? Right? And then if you want, you can kind of do little pieces here and there. Like I always like to kind of redo the front. Oops! Yikes! I used to like I like to kind of redo the front a little bit, the front piece. Now, one thing about me, one thing I would recommend is if your ends are a little dry, like mine, you can just put some oil on them and that will help. So again, let me just do these pieces really quick just to kind of make it look a little nicer, kind of frame my facey, frame my face a little bit. And then if you want, you can kind of do some more up here. Like I'll probably do like maybe just one more just to show you. Um, and the good thing about this is it will usually last a couple of days where all you're gonna have to do, like next, like when I do it tomorrow, all I'm really gonna have to do is just do some touch-ups here and there. So, another thing, if you want to tease your hair, again, you can, but at this point, I'll just take a little dry a little more dry shampoo, kind of just put it through my hair. Then maybe another spray. You know, and there you have it. You get the little wavy poos without the little dent. So hopefully this helped you guys. Like I said, I it took me forever and I still am not perfect at it. I'll still be doing my, like if I've been wearing my hair straight and I all of a sudden want to curl it, I have to really like think about it. So remember, take this on this side it's facing forward and you always want to do away from your face and then on this one facing this way away from your face and you shouldn't get the dent if you follow it and do it that way now there are still a couple times like I said my ends if you want another option is you can also take your ends um, put oil on the ends and you can always also take a straightener and if you do a straightener to the end it's going to kind of give you more of that like pulled beachy wave look so it's up to you but by tomorrow my hair obviously the curls won't be as tight it'll be a little more of a looser wave but it really holds very well I really love this curling iron I'd highly recommend it so I hope that helped you guys if you're into beach waves and you want to learn how to not get the dent if you have any questions please let me know again it took me forever to figure it out so my only advice to you is just practice makes perfect try to watch this tutorial, maybe try to mimic what I'm doing, or, you know, watch other tutorials, whatever works for you. But everything I share today, the wet brush, this, the hairspray, the heat tamer, dry shampoo, everything I will link down below. If you have any questions, let me know. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. And I would love to have you follow me on Instagram as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this little tutorial that was taking a little bit of a break from handbags for a change. And have a wonderful day, you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. I was looking like a fool when I met ya. I'll cover it up in the dirt from a